So, good day everybody. Uh, some of you asked me if I could create a video explaining how I took the uh, amazing Magic Lantern files and processed them uh, into, uh, you know, uh, files ready for an editor. Uh, so, let's do it, let's do it. Um, so, Magic Lantern produces these uh, beautiful uh, .mlv files, great quality. Um, and let's see how we process them. Uh, I created this short film uh, that you can watch. Uh, I will put it on the description in case you want to see the finished result. Uh, I used uh, the Canon 5D Mark III camera, um, uh, producing these MLB files, and I took them all the way to Blackmagic Resolve. So let's see how it went. And I uh, recorded in 3.5K, which I then interpolated to 4K. Uh, so let's do it. So we have uh, those dot mlb files and what i recommend what i did myself anyway is uh, i went to mlb.app all right and i download this uh, free tool uh, mlv app uh, which uh, really is really fantastic this is the this is the app this is the tool and all you have to do is you go to file uh, you go to import mlv okay and you import all your mlvs here Okay, once you import them, uh, they are gonna appear here in the in the center. And all you have to do, you will see lots of options on the right to manipulate the, the raw parameters of the videos. But what I did is not to touch anything at all, and just uh, immediately I exported these MLVs into DNG, into digital negative format. All right, so what you do to do that is you go to File, you go to Export Settings, and you have to choose here Cinema DNG. Now, there are three options, uncompressed, lossless, and fast pass. Uh, what I recommend is lossless, okay? It will not lose any quality, but it will not take as much space as uncompressed. All right, so Cinema DNG lossless, and if you are gonna use uh, DaVinci Resolve as your editor, uh, you could choose DaVinci Resolve naming scheme. Okay, and that's it. So you choose that, and then you go to File, Export Selected Clips. All right, so you select the ones that you want to export. You click on Export Selected Clips, and that's it. It's going to export them for you, and it's going to produce this. This type of uh, result is going to be a folder with the name of that clip, and inside you're going to have the digital negative files. Okay, this is one for each frame and uh, they have a fantastic quality, they preserve all their raw parameters, uh, really, really fantastic. All right, once you do that, uh, you have to go to your editor. So remember, all that we have done is we have downloaded MLV app, uh, we have opened it, we have imported our MLV files, we have not touched any parameters, we have just gone to uh, export settings, selected cinema, DNG and then export selected. Now we're gonna edit. Now, if you want to edit, what editor are you gonna use? Well, the one I used was Blackmagic Resolve. Hey, you may be using Premiere, Adobe Premiere, or any other, or Final Cut, etc. etc. Now, I used to uh, use uh, Adobe Premiere. I've used uh, Premiere and the entire Adobe Suite for many, many years, but uh, around one year ago, I switched from Premiere to Blackmagic Resolve, and I have to tell you, I am very happy with this change, all right? Uh, again, I've been a user of the Adobe Suite for a long time, uh, and I continue using uh, After Effects and Photoshop, uh, but, um, well, anyway, it's my opinion. I could talk about this uh, uh, maybe in a different video, but, uh, okay, let's, let's just say that I'm really happy with Blackmagic Resolve. Okay, and by the way, uh, if you are interested, you can uh, put it on the comments. Uh, I can also make videos about the uh, color correction with uh, Blackmagic Resolve. If you are interested in um, color correction videos, uh, let me know, okay? All right, so what do we do? Uh, we go to DaVinci Resolve in my uh, particular case, all right? And we import these Cinema DNG files, okay? And we're gonna look at one specific one, which is this one right here. Uh, uh, one of the characters of the movie, this one here. And uh, you see, if we right click and we say finding media pool, it tells us this is the file. Okay, this is the file. And if we go here to the right, we're gonna see that this file has a resolution of three, 3,520 
times 1320 pixels. Okay, this is 3.5K in Magic Lantern, uh, uh, transformed from .mlv to Cinema DNG. Uh, this is a fantastic quality and fa fantastic resolution, and at this resolution of 3.5K, you can interpolate and transform it into a, a, you know, a 4K composition without any problem at all. Okay, and the frame rate is 23.976 frames per second. Uh, at the time I recorded this film, uh, which was a year and something ago, uh, this was the best combination I found in the Magic Lantern uh, experimental builds. Uh, maybe today it's possible to get even uh, better combinations. Uh, all right, uh, we're going to go to the color tab. There we are. Now, if we go to the color tab, I'm going to tell you a couple of very, very important things here. Okay, on the bottom left, uh, there are a few sections, he sections here, and the, the, the most to the left is the one that contains the raw parameters, you know, the, the first processing that happens to that digital negative uh, dinema, cinema DNG raw file. And uh, the first option says decode quality, and you have different options. What I used here is a uh, project setting, okay? And if you go to the project settings, here's the project settings. If you go to the project settings, uh, there are a couple of things here. Uh, there is the camera row and the color management. I can get into more detail uh, in other videos in this one. But I'm just going to tell you that in the color management, uh, you can choose to have uh, the file color managed or not. And uh, this is quite quite a choice. And I can go in more detail about this in different videos because it's, it's kind of a long topic. Uh, but you also choose a color space. Uh, in, and I worked in the Rec 709, that is a typical standard, okay? So, now if you choose a project setting um, and then you use the code using clip, okay, this is going to allow you to modify some of the raw parameters of that Cinema DNG file. This is very important. So before you actually, uh, you know, apply destructive transformations, you can use these parameters right here, the white balance, uh, mid-tone detail, etc., etc., uh, to change some of the raw parameters that came from the sensor of the camera. Uh, you also choose a color space and a gamma. In my project, I used the black magic uh, design and, uh, and the, the gamma curve, a uh, black magic design film, because uh, they produced a very flat uh, curve that uh, gave me a lot of uh, latitude, a lot of, uh, you know, flexibility when doing color correction. Okay, but you can choose something completely different. You know, if I if I choose Rec 709, you see, you see how the contrast uh, has changed, you know, because it has also applied the Rec 709 curve in the gamma curve, and this produces a, a curve that has uh, way more contrast. So, you know, it depends what you want. In my case, I was looking for a, a way flatter curve, you know so that I would have a lot of uh, latitude and flexibility when doing the color correction. And uh, that's it, you know, I'm not gonna go in, in, in detail, you know, I can do videos of color correction if you're interested. Uh, this would take um, way longer time. Uh, but obviously in uh, Blackmagic Resolve, you can do fantastic color correction on this file. So once, you know, once you tweak a little bit the raw parameters, uh, you are gonna do the proper color correction uh, in, uh, in Blackmagic Resolve. And, you know, you can do any type of thing you want. You can do masks, uh, you can tweak, uh, you can do tracking. Uh, it's absolutely amazing color correction in Blackmagic Resolve. Uh, but yeah, we can leave this for other videos. So, that is the summary. Uh, the process is not complicated, it's not long. You know, it's composed of the combination of the MLV app, uh, transform into the digital negatives, and then the uh, Blackmagic Resolve, uh, tweaking a bit the raw parameters, and off we go to the editing and the color correction. Uh, if you want to see the final result, I will leave the link uh, to the completed film uh, in the description. And if you want to see other videos of, um, for example, uh, color correction or editing in Blackmagic Resolve, uh, just uh, write it on the comments, okay? Um, you know, I'm very much a fan of Blackmagic Resolve. Uh, as I tell you, I used to use uh, Premiere, uh, not anymore. Uh, I think that uh, nowadays Blackmagic Resolve is really superior. And, uh, and you know, Blackmagic Resolve, uh, Resolve and DaVinci. DaVinci used to be the, uh, the king of color correction. 
And uh, really what they've done, you know, in color correction, they are so way beyond the Premiere. And what they've done in the last years is to get up to speed in the other areas, you know, in the editing, uh, in the media management, uh, in, the, in the effects as well. And now it's a really, it's a really powerful package that, by the way, is free. At least today, nowadays, it's free. You can get it for free. Um, there is a free version that really allows you to do like practically everything. And then there is like a one-time payment uh, premium version that is like 200 something uh, for a lifetime. And it gives you some extra features, but really like 90 a lot percent of what you need to do um, is, is for free. Uh, so that's also like a big difference with Premiere, right? Okay. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, well, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel like. Uh, give it a like uh, and please uh, just uh, put any comments uh, if um, you know if you can add some new information to help uh, the other viewers. Something that I haven't said that is important. Uh, if you can give a hand, you know, like uh, really contribute. Uh, something in the comments and if you want if you would like me to do other videos about uh, color correction editing with black magic resolve uh, something like that uh, just uh, write it in the comments as well and thank you very much and all the best thank you see ya